Shri Guru Biona Maha. Welcome to our online teaching academy, Ekaleva. And I welcome you all for the biology class. This is class 12, biology. And we are in the lesson, molecular basis of inheritance. Already we completed the different process like transcription, translation, and now we are going to see some control thing. Something is going to control and not allowed to express to save energy. So what is that? Any guess from your side? We'll see that. It's regulation of gene expression. And here, the system going to on and off. You know about the switch on and off. In our system, okay, we are going to see prokaryotic system here. There, something is going to on and off, going to regulate the expression, not allowing it to express. Okay, what is that? And that is a structural gene. Something it is going to regulate. That's something we are going to see now. So before that, uh, let me introduce Mr. Jacob and Monar. They discovered this, okay, they collaboratively studied about that expression. Yeah, just one second. Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll see about more Jacob and Monar. They collaboratively studied about the regulation of the gene, okay, bacterial gene. Here, prokaryotes we are going to see. And what is that? A system called operant system, okay. We call that as operon or operon, okay. So, just make a note of this name. It's a one mark question, okay. Who proposed this? regulation of gene expression, Mr. Jacob and Monod. And what it, what it controls, it going to control a specific thing. We are going to see that, right? So this is the structure of lac operon. And you can see the letter I, P, O, Z, Y, A. It's a little confusing, right? I'll give you a term, just memorize like that, Iposia. Okay, we'll have something like this and we'll memorize that term so that we'll not do any mistake. Iposia. Okay, that is a full structural thing. What is that I, P, O, Z, Y, A? That we are going to see what it is. And one more thing also I will tell you. Lion. What is lion? It's an animal and we are not going to see animal here. We are going to keep something in memory by using this term. L, I, O, L, lactose. I, induce. And O, on. Okay, I told you it's going to switch on and off. So here it's going to switch on and off. These bacteria, small organism, prokaryotic organism, they are quite stingy also. When they are not having the lactose, what happened? They off. They will not allow the gene to produce that particular amino acid. When the particular substance, lactose, if it is present, it will switch on. So when it will switch on and off, Okay, to remember that, use this word lion, L-I-O-N, L, lactose, I induces, okay, it's an inducer, in that case, the particular gene will express. So, it is an on mode, lion, okay. So, you can see, one by one, we are going to see what are these things in detail, okay. So, let us see what it is. The lac operon is an operon or a group of genes with a single promoter, P is the promoter and O is the operator, okay. And the gene encode in the operon encode proteins that allow the bacteria to use lactose. That's what I said, it will allow the bacteria to use lactose and that case it will be in on mode. When there is no lactose, there is no inducer, it will be in off mode, right. So, how it is going to regulate? Before we are talking about the bacteria, the prokaryotes, let us see what are the other types of regulatory mechanism. So, first in replication level, okay, in replication level also there will be a regulation. Uh, we discussed already about the DNA replication and then DNA transcription, translation in each level, how it is going to regulate. So, first in this level, replication level, even replication cannot happen all the time, it has to be regulated. So, this level will also be regulated. Then transcriptional level, what is transcription? 
we saw the central dogma DNA to mRNA, mRNA to protein. So, in that level also, when there is a transcription, even in that level, the regulation takes place. Next, post transcription. So, post transcription like translation level are after that, after they come out from the nucleus by that time also. So, these are the various levels of the regulation of gene expression. This is totally an overview. Now, we are going to step into the prokaryotes, right? So, gene regulation prokaryotes. This is very important five mark question, a repeated board exam question. So, you can listen. So, before we see this one, I will tell you what are the different types. The on and off mode, ok, we call it as positive regulation by activators, ok. So, it is an on, negative regulation by repressor, so it is an off. In operand, the operator is situated right next to the promoter. I told you to remember the letter I pose here, ok. So, these things, promoter and operator, okay, they are just very next to each other. So, this is our operant system. I pose here, what is this one? I induce, okay, here the lactose when it is going to come, it is going to induce and here you call it as inhibitor. You may have a confusion like I inducer or inhibitor. Here it is nothing but this gene going to inhibit something by producing a repressor protein. So, you can see a protein will be synthesized and that going to inhibit block and not allow to transcribe or translate. We will see one by one little later and this is the structure in detail. Okay, one in on mode, another one absent. That is, you can see absence of inducer, presence of inducer, what happened. Okay, and then the three gene you can see. The three gene, okay, they are synthesizing the amino acid. So, let us see what is iposia. I inhibitor, the regulatory gene, it codes for the repressor protein. Okay, this is very, very important what is the function of I gene, right? Then Z, Y, A, you can see your Z, Y, A, the three gene, they are the very important gene. They are going to produce a substance which acts like a catalyst and convert the lactose into glucose and galactose. By that time, these bacteria will eat that, okay, will consume that. So, Z gene, it codes for beta galactosidase, okay, Z gene, number one. Let me number it. Then Y gene permease. It's going to cleave. Okay, it's going to allow the lactose to enter. Then next A gene. Okay, A third one. Transacetylase. Okay, these three also important one mark question. What it code for? Okay, iposia. And the P for promoter, O for operator. Right? And I is nothing but the inhibitory gene. So let us. Recap once again, I inhibitor, P promoter, O operator, Z code for beta galaxidase and Y permease and A transacetylase, okay. So, this is our textbook diagram. Uh, let me explain in detail on and off mode. Suppose if this is the bacterial cell, okay, in the bacterial cell there is no lactose, Okay, already I told you, these bacteria are so stingy, okay, they are going to conserve energy here. So, there is no lactose, so it will be in what mode? Absent. There is absent of inducer, inducer nothing but lactose, okay. So, it will be in off mode. Now, the lactose is present. Lactose is present and these lactose should be allowed inside. Okay, for that another enzyme called as permease, okay, it will allow the lactose inside and these lactose will be in two form, one is same as lactose form, another one allolactose, okay, like this, it is going to allow. Now, before seeing this one, how it is in off mode? That we will see and then we will come back to this one. Now, what happened? This I gene as usual they produce, okay, they produce 
the repressor mRNA, okay, and there is repressor protein. And this protein has affinity towards the operator. So it will go and bind towards that, like this it will bind and not allow the polymerase to form a chain and there will be no coding, okay, no polymerization takes place here. Yeah, so it will bind here, let me draw like this, it will block the repressor protein has high affinity towards the operator and it will bind. So it will not allow the polymerase. Okay, polymerase to move further. When there is no polymerization, what happened? The ZYA will not produce any enzyme. So, in that case, it will be in off mode and they are saving the energy. What they are not having? They are not having lactose. So, what happened? This repressor protein, as usual, if the lactose is present or not present also, the repressor protein will be there. But if the lactose is present, what will happen? We will see. If the lactose is not present, what will happen? It will go and bind with the operator. So, it blocks, not allow the ZYA to produce their particular enzymes. Now, the second situation, okay, and we call it as on mode. In this case, what happens? The lactose is present and this lactose will be allowed inside, okay, and it has been isomer type like lactose and allolactose. The same gene, let me draw here. Iposia. Now, this one will produce the repressor protein and the repressor will also be there. Okay. Now, what happened? Here, lactose is there and allolactose is there. And now, compared to operator gene, it is having higher affinity to the allolactose. So, this will come and bind. This will come and bind. What is this? The repressor protein will come and bind with the allolactose. Now, this part is free. Okay. Now, what happened? The transcription will take place. Okay. The polymerase will go. The transcription will take place. Z, Y, A. Okay. They produce the following enzymes. Beta galoxidase, permease and transacetylase. So, they undergo as usual transcription and translation process. This is in presence of inducer. Who is the inducer here? lactose is the inducer and this lactose will be converted into glucose and galactose with the help of these three enzymes. Okay, let me write here. Lactose which is present in the cell will be converted into glucose plus galactose. Okay, these three enzymes acts as a catalyst and convert this. Now, the bacteria can consume that. Later, what happened when it is all used? Okay, there won't be any more lactose. In that case, again, this operator, okay, this uh, operator will be closed by the repressor protein because the repressor protein is having affinity towards the operator. It has more affinity towards the allolactose, but there are no allolactose. So, again, it will go back, bind with the operator and will not allow the further transcription and translation. So, that is again off. So, it will be in cycle on and off. Okay. So, you can guess what it is. Fingerprint. We all have different fingerprint. Right. Like that we have something different in our DNA also. All our DNA are same. Okay. Same. But there is some difference. Okay. Some 0.1 percentage difference is there. So, what is that difference? That we are going to see in detail in next class. To receive our online lessons, please press the subscribe button and you will receive our latest updates. Thank you.